let me be very, very, very frank with you. Those who are not humble are not going anywhere in life. I'm telling you the truth. They are not going anywhere in life. Just like some of the things we are witnessing now. now and I've said it before and I'm saying it again. What happened at the time of our bachelor is about to happen in Nigeria. I'm saying it loud and clear. It's about to happen. Because God detests the proud. God detests stubbornness. Because stubbornness is like the sin of witchcraft, like rebellion. God detests it. When the people are crying at you, you turn deaf ear. When God himself will come, it will be disastrous. Not only will God take your life, it will take the grace of God if your family don't follow. When God visited Korah, Abiram and Data, everything that consigned them, they went. When God visited Achan, everything that concerned Achan, they went. Neymar, very humble. He was able to humble himself. This man, Neymar, as great, glorious and successful as he was, his Epa was a slave captive. His Epa was a nonentity. A misfit, a no class in the society. But he was able to humble himself and listen. And the young man says, Sir, I wish you can go to our prophet. She was very proud of her prophet. I wish you can go to my prophet. His name is Prophet Elijah. If you can get there, I'm pretty sure that this sickness will disappear. And Naaman listened and went and he received divine favor.